I V M. Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach Podcast. I am Ashton Doctor, your Habit Coach, and today with us we have a very special guest. I've been listening to his content and the stuff that he's been putting out for a while, and it's absolutely fantastic. You know the kinds of points that he touches upon, and the way that he's encouraging the youth to move in different directions. I want to introduce Raj Shamani on the Habit Coach Podcast. Raj, welcome to the Habit Coach Podcast. Thank you so much. I'm quite humbled right now because somebody like you, I admire, is consuming my content on a daily basis. So I'm absolutely humbled. Thank you for having me here. Thank you. I absolutely love it. You know, the whole look feel of your content, you know, just to pick up the phone, talk to it and get your points across. I think it's a brilliant way that you are putting it across. Thank you so much. I think that's one thing about my content, which is very nice, which I feel that we never plan and record. Okay. So all the things which we are doing, it's just spontaneous. We're, it's like you and me talking. And right now mm. also I'm recording at the same time. If there's something which you say or I say, I'm going to pick it up and put it on my content. It's very spontaneous. Lovely. In fact, that should be how content should be created, right? You know, it's moved away from the whole big Hollywood studio kind of creation to something that is so easy to do. And uh, yeah, like most of my videos just happen on the phone now. <laughs> That's yeah. most of the people like etc. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So Raj, tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get onto this whole journey of, you know, inspiring people? Where did it start from? So my journey was, I'll be very honest, okay? I'll be brutal here that I wanted to become rich, okay? So like when I started everything, I was still 16 and my family was not doing well financially. And every, this one thing I had in my mind that I want to be at a position where I don't have to see price tags and I don't have to think about buying anything at all. I can give whatever my mom wants. I can get whatever I want. And this was the basic game. I never wanted to inspire people. I never wanted to do anything beyond just getting some money in my pocket. So that is how it started. So A, I was a bad student. B, I was bad at sports. So see, my natural inclination became that I'll have to do something on my own because studies mein mera kuch hoga nahi zada. Uh, then, you know, sports maybe I, I don't see any anything big happening. And I was not disciplined at all. So I thought I'll have to do something on my own so that I can wake up at whatever time I want to wake up and then work all night. And then do, do you know, this is how I wanted to make money. So entrepreneurship came natural to me that that was the only option which I had. And at that time, I started a business uh, at the age of 16. Then hustled my way up. Over the time, I realized money is not the only thing which I want from my life. Because once you start getting some of it, you realize, okay, there are many more things which you need to do with your life. Experimented with other things in public speaking, in content creation, in social media, agency world. And slowly, 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 eight years later today, we are running a $20 million empire. And I've, I've spoken in a couple of countries now. I've spoken around 26, 27 countries. Represented India and United Nations as representative. And yeah, that's what I do. And I create regular content and listening to your content, getting inspired by you to make my podcast as well. Lovely. Definitely do. And please tell people where they can listen to your podcast as well. So, you know, they can start at least listening to the episodes that you've put out. Sure, sure. It's everywhere. It's by the name of figuring out. It's just like young person's, how a young dreamer is trying to figure out how to achieve big things. That's it. Like it's figuring I out. I love the name, dude. Figuring out. Super. <laughs> so, you know, when you were going through this journey of entrepreneurship and you started, did you have A, mentors? Did you have B, information coming to you? Were you consuming a lot of, you know, knowledge in terms of books about, you know, wealth creation or work? How was the, how was your brain being fueled? I tell you how I started. Okay. Let me get back to the ground level. Like I want to put it in perspective for everyone. When I wanted to start business, I had only one thing in my mind that I want to get rich. So I did the most millennial thing. I went on Google and read how to become rich. Okay. So I went there and Google again, again, a couple of articles it showed that read books, start reading books. Then I went on Google again and typed top 10 books to become rich. And then I found Think and Grow Rich. I found Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And Think and Grow Rich was the first book I ever ordered. I still haven't read it. Uh, but when I ordered that book, in that book, uh, in first few pages, there is, the book talks about this guy, Andrew Carnegie. And according to Andrew Carnegie, if you want to get rich, all you have to do is A, first get a, get, start doing business, get a product to sell. B, 
start connecting with as many people as you can because the more people you meet with the more your uh, horizon broadens right and c start business in fmcg fast moving consumer goods so that the demand is always there and according to him that this industry never faced depression i was like great i want to start business in fmcg now then for me fmcg was since i was from a small town in dor uh, at that time it was not that big and we only had one i think one mall, mall or a supermarket treasure there. island treasure oh yeah you're from how do you of know that of course dude i <laughs> spent lots of time in dor oh yeah so there was only one with treasure treasure island and i went there i used to stand there for hours and i used to stand there in the local market as well on grocery stores at kirana stores which we call i used to stand there for hours and just observe what is this smdg market about and i found out that the entire market is shifting towards liquids hand soaps were getting replaced by hand wash bathing soaps were getting replaced by shower gels and dishwash bars were getting replaced by dishwash gels and at that time in my city in entire treasure island and in the entire city there were only two dishwash gels women prill there was nothing else and i thought wow such a huge population so many people and only two brands i need to do something here and that was my idea so i didn't have any mentors i didn't have uh, any book which i read felt why i was very good with observing i always thought that if i'll observe the people at the end of the day who do i have to sell customers right target audience all i have to do is just observe them the more i observe them the better ideas i'm going to get the better businessman i'll become that was my number one game and still today i feel that which is your brand that you created what, what was it called uh, it was called drop drop dishwash okay. gel that okay. was the first one uh, currently is number one in central india and hmm. uh, we have we have expanded in now a couple of other states as well we have started ex- exporting to nepal and dubai and yes. we are doing good plus Lovely. at the same time then my father also joined me and his name his brand's name was jadugar so we made it jadugar's drop so together nice. now we are doing it for rural and urban lovely so you know it's so funny that you said this because guess what i was doing at uh, treasure island as well observing customers so my family business is market research and consumer understanding so it was wow. all about understanding consumers and which is why you know this what you just said gel so well because that gel pun intended so well because <laughs> that is exactly what you know starting a business is about people think that starting a business is about having a product and the main issue is that it's not about having a product it's having a customer true so if you have a customer that is what you have to start thinking about and that's how you can start thinking, growing hmm. but to add to your thing napoleon hill think and grow rich absolutely brilliant book if you ever do get towards the end of it right i know carnegie's example and then he talks about edison and stuff like that in fact is one of those books that i keep rereading underlining notes every time i reread it a new idea pops up something that i hadn't thought about so a brilliant book to think about i want to put it out here like most of the people ask me how many books raj do you read what is that one thing which you do okay and to that i'm not a big fan of reading books still i've read a lot of books but i'm not a big fan of reading books and why do i say this i i've heard this couple of times like from you from couple of my mentors now that think and grow is one one book which everybody should read and i take it from a very different perspective i only read books when i have a problem in life so right now let's say i am facing problem with my uh, speaking skills so i'll read a book about how to improve my public speaking did you get right. it so yeah. if i'm facing problem with operations i'll read a book about operations if i'm facing mm-hmm. problem with finances i'll read a book about finances so i only read books when there's a problem so that i can solve problem i feel that books are the best places to find solution i cannot from my own will i cannot get up and read a book without any intention i don't know why is that but everybody has their own ways everybody has their own thing but raj i put it in another way are you not learning if I you am. don't have a problem you're constantly learning right you're constantly learning from other sources and that is the important point you no know, we get so caught up on how many books have you read but the idea is how much have you learned exactly how much have you learned and that is the key thing to get how much have you learned so that is the habit that we should be having constantly voraciously greedily learning not it's about maine 100 book padha is saal yeah and you know one of the most funny thing which i feel that people don't understand everybody is trying to find solutions all we should be doing is find out problems solutions are everywhere anyway like you don't need advice if you don't need solution solutions are everywhere we all know what to do all we yeah. need to do is start finding problems so that we know how to solve that problem with the books as well with learning as well who is problem free tell me one man who who doesn't have any problem tell me one person who doesn't have any problem 
everybody we, we all have problems right so instead of following me let's say ki oh raj ne bola hai ye book padhte hain instead of doing that you find out what is your problem and try to read a book and learn from that so that you can apply in your life and then experiment and get better with it so that's what Correct. my constant learning is about constantly trying to solve problems of your life i love it find the problem another way of thinking about it is how can you ask the right question and asking the right question very often leads to the right kind of an answer very often we ask the wrong question and actually many of the habits that we talk about is you know being perceptive on which is the question that you're answering and sometimes it's very very wrong so you know it, it's so interesting the conversation i wanted to have with you today is a about youth and b about entrepreneurship because i think these two things are absolutely essential and and the more of our country's youth that i see going into entrepreneurship i think the better for the country and the better for them yes. as well so how should we start thinking about entrepreneurship and youth okay number one i think the first thing we should put out is we should completely separate the youth from the entrepreneurship thing entrepreneurship is entrepreneurship okay and me. i believe entrepreneurship itself is such a spirit anyone even if the age of, age of 70 is thinking to get into it is young and young and energetic and he drives to you into youth for me because it takes a lot of energy to even think about starting your own business or starting your own venture right now why entrepreneurship uh so i want to take you to this thing most of the people feel that entrepreneurship only means that you need to start something of your own and that's wrong the glam people are following the glamour everybody look at this glamour as oh sachin bansal is getting celebrated vijay shekhar sharma is getting celebrated ritesh is getting celebrated everybody is getting celebrated i want to become the poster boy of india but most of the people if the first thing with youth and entrepreneurship or any person who wants to get into it starts with self awareness are you the right kind of number 1 or are you the right kind of number 2 or number 5 or number 7 because you never know let's say i am really good number 2 in the company i am good with operation i may not be the right kind of leader which you can so i need to join you and suppress that ego and glamour because to have a fulfilled life so entrepreneurship is just solving problems taking the plunge with the financial risk and making your life and people around you who are there life better that's it that's for me entrepreneurship is whether you are number 1 number 7 or number 10th in the company i don't care and that is what we need to uh, we need to put it out and conversation needs to be out there at not everybody needs to become number 1 So as I said, are you talking about the number two, number three being what we call entrepreneurs, as in entrepreneurs within a company? Entrepreneurs, exactly within the companies. Yeah. So I can let's say I am a very good sales guy. That's what I like to say in my company. I am not the CEO of my company. So I am not the CEO, even though I started it. It's my baby. But number one guy in my company is not me, but someone else because th- that guy has more credibility than me. He is better than me. He is absolutely genius. I am client acquisition head. I do one thing. I go to clients, I acquire them, and then I forget about it. Self awareness is where everything starts. First thing you need to realize is who are you. First you realize who are you. Second is who are your customers. Rest everything is just nuances. These are the two things at the end of the day. Bottom line, everybody should think about. And once you can find out this is who you are, this is the industry you are interested in, and these are the customers you want to serve. automatically you won't be able to sleep at night and you will have to do some or the other thing to make it work you know in fact i'm sure people listening to this are not going to be able to sleep at night because they're like i want to do this i want to do this and how do you think people should start this process like you know there's so many people who are currently going through their engineering knowing that there's going to be a job after that some people are in a call center some people are here some people are working nights all sorts of people are listening to this podcast right with all sorts of jobs yeah how do we then start telling them this is the mindset of an entrepreneur that you need to start building on what are the baby steps that they should be taking towards that okay so it starts with two things okay first is the part where why do you want to get into it and the second the part comes like what is the thing you should get into it Okay. So first is why you need to have a very simple why. Raj ne bola. No, Raj ne bola nahi kabhi why. It should be very your simple why. And I'm not Correct. talking about having a why. Ki main dunya change karunga. Main I'll have an impact over the world. Forget all of that. That all is I think it's very oversold. <laughs> like let's just forget that. It can be very simple. Ki yar mujhe like for me right. I want to be able to buy things without looking at price tags. Or 
I want to buy that house or I want to not work after 30. I, whatever it can be. It can be very simple, very simple why ki mujhe car khari di. This is why I believe ki I'll not be able to achieve this through any other means. That's why I want to start a business. So have that first why and a goal in place. Because until unless you have that, you won't be able to work towards it. And it can be very selfish as well that I want to become the most powerful man in my city. There's no harm in it until unless you're harming people. You can be completely selfish with what kind of goals you have and what is your why. So first is figure that out. Hmm. Now that's the mindset. The mindset is only you have a why, you want to do it. That is the reason you want to do it. Number two, what? What do you want to get into? So I have a very simple three-step rule. Number one, you decide what industry you're interested in. Every industry, every niche, everything has money. You just need to get better at it. Everything has money. There's no one industry. I'm ready to debate with everyone who tells me that, okay, this industry doesn't have money. It doesn't have money in it. Even if you talk about typewriters, which is history, even that industry has money. Okay, so every industry has money. It's just a way of selling differently. So first you figure out what industry you are obsessed about or you like reading about or you feel like, oh, okay, naturally I can start reading about it. You figure out the industry, then you start reading about and observing in that industry as much as you can. As much as you can. So that's number one. Number two, you figure out what are your strengths? As an individual, are you a good speaker? Are you a good writer? Are you a good with operations? Are you good with connecting more people? Are you good with selling dreams? Are you good with finances? Are you good with taxes? What are you? Are you good with, you know, marketing, sales, research, product, tech, operations, delivery, whatever it is? What is your strength? So you need to figure that out. Number two, when you figure out that strength, then number three, how can you fit your strength to the industry you're obsessed with and do it better than people who are already there? That's it. Three simple ways to find out the idea. So first is you figure out your why. Second is you figure out how to do it with this three simple process and you'll have it. And once you start doing it automatically, after that, you won't need any rush to tell you anything. Lovely. The game is starting. Superb. Before going ahead, we'll take a quick break. Did you know that your oat cookie has less than 10% oat? Brands get away with such creative lying all the time. The Whole Truth is India's first and only clean label food brand that declares every ingredient on the front of its packaging. So there's no need to turn the pack to find out what's in your food. There are some delicious protein bars, immunity balls and a brand new range of vegan energy bars too. Enter the coupon code HABIT on checkout at thewholetruthfoods with an S dot com for 20% off and make eating healthy a part of your daily food habit. And we are back. Do you have any examples of people who've gone through this, you know, who you've seen, you know, excel in that field? Can you share some examples? Like, that would be so interesting. I'll tell you. So during lockdown, my entire business got shut. Okay, everything. My marketing agency... My personal branding agency, we used to deal maximum with the people who are in the real estate. So March, everything got shut. Okay. I was not getting, so every year we have the financial year. That's where we get yearly retainer. Industry, my marketing agency got shot. My voice branding agency got shot. My personal branding agency got shot. And my business also, there was a lockdown announced. The only essentials are allowed. Anything else is not going to show. And surprisingly in my state, the law was even dishwash gels are not allowed. Only soaps are allowed. I don't know what was the logic, but it was not allowed. So my business went short. And now I have this three-way rule. Okay. Number one uh, is I want to start a business because I won't be able to sustain uh, the salaries and I won't be able to pay livelihood of the 400 families which are with me right now. So I have the 400 people is a big responsibility with you. And I didn't have to fire anyone. So what do I do? I'll have to think of other income source. I wanted to start business. What industry do I like? What am I obsessed with? FMCG. That's where I'm doing business. That's where I read about. And there is not even one article in Economic Times and Times of India, which I have not read about that industry. I read it every day. That's my habit for the Habit Podcast. Let me tell you, my habit is every morning I wake up, I read every article related to FMCG industry, whether it's about stocks or whether it's about operations. Okay? So I'm obsessed with this industry. I'm obsessed with FMCG. Great. What is my strength? My strength is cold calling and closing clients. Client acquisition. That's what I do. Number three. Now, what are the products which I can start to in the FMCG industry 
which I can close sales on phone without worrying about anything else. So what I did, I realized, okay, okay, I have 10 lakh rupees in my bank right now. At that time, sanitizers were hot. I So sanitizers were hot, everybody was there and the market was getting saturated. What is that thing? If everybody is selling sanitizers, every local store is selling sanitizers. How can I be different? I came up with disinfectant sprays. I was the first one in India, one of the first ones to launch disinfectant sprays across India. Okay, during lockdown. So I launched a disinfectant spray, called one of my friends who's already making those sprays for Savlon, gave him 10 lakh rupees. I was like, make this for me. You know, you do the manufacturing, you do everything because I'm not allowed to get out of my house. In your state, you can make it because you already have the rights because of Savlon. So you make it. He, that guy made it for me. Then I called DMART, Walmart, local stores, Aditya Birla Group, everybody. Just started calling them and told them that, you know what, I'm offering disinfectant sprays. I can give you tomorrow, which no other brand can give you. If you are ready to close deal in within two hours, I can fill your store with sanitizing sprays, which no one has it in the country because in the beginning it was shorted. Right? Boom. Got a sale, started a business. One thing is started. Okay, now everybody will like, oh, sanitizer, ek bar aagya, bar bar thodi aega. I called them again. What is the one product which you are missing? They told me floor cleaners. And they told me, do you make floor cleaners? I said, yes, I do. In my life, I've never made floor cleaners. But just because they wanted it, I was like, boom. Called, then this got closed by Walmart. Called Metro. What do you need? Toilet cleaners. Boom. Started making toilet cleaners. Called DMART. What do you need? Phenyls. Boom. Closed the sale. Phenyls. Started selling phenyls. Entire business, within three months, we are doing more than 30 crores in revenue. With 10 lakh rupees up front as the capital. So it's very simple. Just Super. need, obsession, demand, and strength. Mix all of them together, you could, you'll have your own business idea. I love the obsession part. Huh? That is something that I think is, is unique to, to people, you know, like we have to understand that you have to be a little crazy, or at least come across as that. And I think that, that bit of obsession is important for that. Lovely. That, that's such an inspiring story, man. You know, and also I believe that if you're not obsessed with it, you won't read everything about it. And until you're aware about the entire industry, you won't be able to know where exactly you can hit. How on earth anyone will get to know this, that okay, Aditya Bela Group can be that the toilet cleaners will be you never know this. You're reading every day on the FMCG. Like every day the news is coming up. Aditya Billa is facing shortage. Unilever is facing shortage. PNG is facing shortage. Godrej is facing shortage. Wow, the world is facing shortage. Malab, in log short hai. Kahi na kahi to bikra hoga. Kaun bech raha jisko kami hai. Usko ja ke bechho. <laughs> you, that is where the obsession part comes in. Yeah. And I think the obsession is an important aspect of this journey. So, you know, if somebody goes through this, now typically people will say, yeah, you know, I really want to, I'm just coming up with all the excuses that I've heard in the past. I'm sure you've heard all these, right? I have ideas, I have this, I have that. Paisa nahi hai. Ye nahi hai. Resource nahi hai. Right? You are lucky because you had this. You are lucky because you had that. How do you get over all these kinds of, you know, the negative thoughts that keep coming to people's mind. I'll tell you, at every point in life, whether it's you, me, Mukesh, Amani, or Jeff Bezos, everybody will feel that other people are more privileged than them. Okay? Mukesh Amani will feel that Jeff Bezos can rule the e-commerce game because he's more privileged. He started early and he has the power of American data. Jeff Bezos will feel that oil industry, Mukesh Amani has built his own mafia. That's why he'll do it. You will feel that Raj has been doing public speaking. That's why he's better than videos. I'll feel you have been doing this. You're more privileged. You have an entire agency and team with you. That's why you'll be able to do better podcast. At no point, you'll feel that you are more privileged than other person. Okay. We all feel this. Everybody. Now at this point, all I want you to think, you need to start taking action what you have in front of you right now. This one small step. Okay. On day one, I won't be able to beat you. If I want to start podcasts and start making money in the podcasting industry, I won't be able to beat you, but I'll be able to beat myself. I'll be able to become a better person than who I was yesterday. And that's what matters. Small wins matters. So all we need to do is take small steps and win small so that you can eventually big win. You can win big one day. And that is what most of the people don't understand. People feel on day one, they'll start comparing with you. What is this podcast? What is this podcast? What is this team? 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 Bro, you have the phone, you have a recorder in it, start recording at least. 
do first step and people who keep doing daily steps who keep taking daily steps they never have this excuse that i don't have money only people who don't take any step has this excuse that i don't have money i don't have time i don't have the energy or i don't have the people these are the biggest lies in the world nobody has all these three things everybody figures their way out at every point tell me at one point you felt ki i have enough Correct. money i have enough people and i have enough time no matter how big you are there's nothing no enough yeah, how can you at every point there's this funny thing right you feel you will be comparing with yourself with some other podcaster and be like yeah mujhe iske aisa banna hai wo iske aisa ban gaya kyunki uske zyada paisa hai zyada better equipment hai i think i just did a podcast i think today's podcast tomorrow's podcast one of them is about this when we're okay. talking about the casino at monte carlo monaco right no there's a phrase there that says that no matter how fancy the car you arrive in and if it's the best at the time wait long enough you see something fancier that will come it's actually more expensive <laughs> that will come so the casino at monaco has that effect and i think that is so true to everything right we'll always look at others and say that because of that i cannot start and what raj said is so perfect just start right we underestimate what time can do for us exactly so everybody wants to beat the biggest in the town but everybody wants to build the biggest building in the town let me put it this way but people need to realize that in order to build the biggest building you need to first step the foundation right it starts from ground level only it doesn't matter whether you're ground level you want to beat 100 floor building you have to go one floor second floor third floor fourth floor fifth floor and then only you will go up right so log pehle hi saw dekh rahe hain yaar wo to pehle se itni lambi main to bana hi nahi sakta how one floor at a time i think this is so true i think one floor at a time just start and what raj said was so beautiful if you're wondering how to just start start by asking yourself why and like we do on the habit coach podcast and all our habits it all starts with intention right you get your intention right ask your why multiple times and you will see that growing and growing and growing once you get that sharp why ask yourself how are you going to go about doing this and finally what aspects of it are you good at what are your strengths that you're going to actually put out because all this comes together to form what it is that you're going to create and raj is such an, a superb example of his own life on how he managed to do that raj superb is there anything else that you want to leave the audience with when you start thinking about entrepreneurship or anything else that comes to mind i think one of the most important thing most of the entrepreneurs and everybody who is there in the world need to realize they need to stop seeking advices we have put advice on such pedestal that the one thing which i want each and every entrepreneur to take it from my podcast or my journey stop seeking advice there's nothing which you gonna get from the advice everybody gives you the same advice the person who's sitting right next to you who's your neighbor or the person who is the richest man in the world they all are going to tell you one thing work your ass off work hard that's it that nobody is going to give you any other advice at the end of the day so what my better counter to this is start looking out for problems once you have a better problem then person who has already walked that path can help you out so if i come up to you and be like oh give me five advice like give me best advice for becoming the best podcaster what will you tell me raj be consistent raj record it with good audio plan well in advance we all know this already you're not going to tell me anything else but in case i am on my sixth episode i'm facing this problem where i'm not able to monetize it with 10000 people who are downloading my podcast and then i ask you this problem that you know what i'm doing everything i have 10000 downloads every month but still i'm not able to monetize it can you help me how can i monetize now this is a powerful question and a powerful problem then you can help me you need to start doing it without seeking advices and ask people who already travel that road the right problem the right place where you're getting stuck and that is what will be much better for you rather than just seeking advices and be like oh mujhe advice chahiye ki main life mein kya karu aur main kaise karu koi tujhe kuch advice nahi de sakta tujhe already pata hai kya karna hai you already know you already know how to lose weight you already know how to start a business you already know how to get big you already know how to get up early and start killing it in life you are not doing that's your problem you needs to clap on that one so true you're not doing you're not asking the right question you're asking very generic stuff you're going to get generic answers absolutely love it raj how can people get in touch with you how can people follow you how can people connect with you i am everywhere by the name of r a j s h a m a n i raj shamani that's my full name and i was lucky enough to get this handle on every social media platform so you can reach out to me 
everywhere on Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, podcast, YouTube. Please go listen to my podcast and YouTube because that's where I have very minimum audience. I really want people to look at. Please, please go check it out. Thank you so much, Raj. If you like this podcast, don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the IVM network. You can listen to us on the IVM podcast app or ivmpodcast dot com. You can also follow us on social media. We are at IVM Podcasts on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to reach out to me, I am Ashton Doc on Twitter and Instagram. You can find lots more information on my website awesome180.com or check out different content on my YouTube channel called A W E S O M E One Eight Zero. That's Awesome One Eighty.